Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Red Dead Redemption 2. And in today's video, we are going on the hunt for some dream catchers. There's a mission in game to collect 20 dream catchers. And in doing so, you can then go on and complete that mission and get yourself the ancient arrowhead treasure. So for those of you guys that want to do this, the completionists out there, this is going to be a guide on where to find all 20 dream catchers. So if you do enjoy this, you do find it useful, then a like would be super appreciated. Drop any comments or any questions you have down below. Of course, if you guys don't want to miss any of our future videos, don't forget you click that notification button and if you haven't entered our spider-man ps4 pro giveaway don't forget to click that in the description box down below for your chance to win but let's not waste any time and let's get started with number one we're gonna go down to a location that is just outside or just below the dakota river this is the location you're looking for on the map you then want to go and walk up the hill a little bit and what you're looking for are these dream catchers that are hanging in the trees you'll see them some of them are easier to see some of them take a little bit longer to locate also depends on time of day but you go over to them hold down triangle interact and then the game will then track and mark how many you've found. So this is Dreamcatcher number one. The next location is a little bit north of where we were just at. You can put your marker to the west of Caliban Seat on the map just by this intersection, this junction. And you then want to go and walk over to this collection of trees. And the very first one, again, hanging on the outside, is your second Dreamcatcher. After that, we're going further north again. This time you can set your marker below the E of Valentine and it's actually like off one of the dirt tracks. But over here, you then want to go off the beaten track and you go over towards this big tree. There's a little kind of broken down stump in front of it. And that is your third one. Next up, moving further up the map again, this time into the Grizzlies West. You want to go and put your way marker or your way pointer somewhere around here. Again, this can involve you going a little bit off the beaten track. But you then want to head off the path, head up the mountain, up the hill. And there's a clearing and there's a little bit of snow around there. And you'll find a dead looking tree, no leaves on it, but that is where your next dream catcher is. Then moving on from where we were just at, going east from our previous location, if you set your waypointer uh, somewhere around here, just a little bit off the path, then you get to around this area, you'll see this fallen down tree. And then if you go up the hill, just a little bit top of your horse, and then you can go over here and find your next dream catcher. Now, continuing further east, this whole thing kind of goes around a little bit of a circle. You'll see later on that it actually draws a pattern. But to the east of Katora Springs, again, if you set your waypointer here, then this is the location you're looking for. Again, you'll see this big opening with a load of trees, lots of small, thin trees. But in the middle, there is a bigger tree, and you can see one of your dream catchers hanging right there. Then going much further east, you then want to go over and place your waypoint here. This is just outside this tower-looking structure, but you want to go the opposite way, walk towards this opening. Again, another dead-looking tree, and that is your next location. Now, continuing further east again, this time you can place your waypoint kind of north of the Annersburg sign on the map, or the title, should I say, I think that's how you pronounce it. Then if you want to go up here and you go and walk into the clearing, there is again a Dreamcatcher hanging from a tree. Pretty easy to see this one, provided again it's not nighttime. For the next one, we're going a little bit south from our previous location. This time you can put your waypoint kind of between the N and the E of Annersburg. And you want to go to where the road splits. And there's a tree just on the edge of the road. You don't even have to go too far. You can see it right there. And you can actually then go and interact with your next dream catcher. You don't actually have to get off your horse for these. I just kind of did so that it makes it clearer to see. But you can stay on your horse if you so wish. For the next one, we're going a little bit southeast from our previous location. This time you can put your marker just below the U and the R from that same sign. And this one, you will have to go a little bit off the beaten track to find. You essentially have to run up the hill. And again, there is a dead looking tree. And by that, there is also your dream catcher. Also, watch out for wild animals here because I uh, did get killed the first time I was trying to do this and show you guys where it was. Then we're going to way further south down the map again from our previous location. This one is a little bit off the path, so basically set your waypointer to essentially where you see here. And then when you get to this location, jump off, you'll see a rock to your left, and then you can just walk over to this group of trees, and you should see your next dream catcher. Now for this next one, we're going to go over and place a waypointer in between the E and the R of the new Hanover sign on the map, also just below the Elysian Pool. This is also a location we will return to later on, so keep it in mind. But this is essentially what you're looking for. There is an opening here and there is a big tree up by this bush. You can jump up there and that is your next location. 
For the next one, we are then going to go even further down south. You want to go and put your waypoint uh, right about here, in between where the path forks. And then when you get down to this location, you essentially go in between the two paths. There is a tree right in the middle, and that is your next dream catcher. For the next one, if you go a little bit west from our previous location and you set a waypoint uh, just above where it says Lonnie Shack on the map, and then you get over to here again on the pathway and you head to the right, go off the path, and there is another tree here. Generally speaking, a lot of the time, they tend to be on these sort of dead trees, or if there is a tree amongst a large group, it tends to be a standout one. Anyway, from there, you can then go north up to our next location. This is again off the beaten track, off the pathway. You want to head up here. It's nice and open this one, pretty easy to see. Once you get to this area, then look to your left and there is a single standalone tree all up there on its own. And that is your next one. Now for the next one, if you go and place your marker inside the O of the new Hanover sign, that is essentially where you want to go. You go over up past the rail track, up the hill, and if you go to where that marker is, you will stumble across this tree and then you'll see your next dream catcher. Then moving further to the west, this time placing your marker between the A and the N of the Hanover sign over here by this lake. You can see that is essentially where we want to go to. You then go off the beaten track towards this somewhat isolated tree and this is where you will find your next one. Following on from there, if you then go and place your waypoint on top of the N in the Heartlands sign, that is essentially where you want to be. You go here. And again, there is another one of those standalone trees, dead looking tree, pretty easy to see amongst the open barren landscape. For this next one, looping back on our sort of initial starting location, set a waypointer to the north of Citadel Rock. This is very near the train track again, and essentially straight off the path, you don't have to go very far for this one. Right next to the pathway is your next tree and your next dream catcher. And then for the final 20th dream catcher, if you go and place your waypointer to the left of the E in the New Heartland sign, and you can then go and hop off your horse. It is just to the left of the rail track. You walk over there in this opening, in this clearing, you'll find the final dream catcher hanging from this tree. And upon interacting with this one, you will then bring out your notebook and you will see that all the locations we visited essentially draws a shape, but there is also one remaining cross that we haven't visited. And that is back at the Elysium pools that I mentioned earlier. You want to head over here in this general location, essentially north of the E and then you head over sign. You can see the Elysium pool marked on the map. You then want to go over here and you walk towards and into the waterfall. When you walk in here, you can start walking through the cave. Now, ideally, you will probably want to pull out a lantern. I didn't have one at this point, so there is one part where I'll be walking through darkness. But if you look at the mini map, it is a straight route. It's basically impossible to get lost. You walk forwards and if you encounter anything that is stopping you, just press square to mantle or run or run up a hill and you'll essentially work your way through. You'll then get to the point where the path forks, there's a left and a right. You want to go right, and at that point you will actually see some light from the opening from the cave. And then when you walk in here, this is where you can go to complete this quest, or complete this mission, and find the ancient arrowhead. You want to start walking up here towards the edge, and then once you've climbed up a little bit, you want to look to the right, and you'll see an ancient cave painting on the wall. So if you go over there, and you interact with that, you can then walk up to it closer, and you can go and collect your loot from the eye of what I assume is like a bull, and that will complete your mission. That is now the Dreamcatcher's mission completed, that's all 20 found, and the ancient arrowhead treasure in your pocket. So, that's it for the time being, hopefully you guys found that helpful. Again, if you did, then like would be super appreciated, and of course, keep it locked for much more Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arix Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the end game store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. 
Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.